All right, guys, so nine times out of 10, when I step out of the apartment, I am carrying a briefcase. And I have a few to choose from, but honestly, the one that I take more often than not is this one right here. This is, of course, the classic original briefcase by Filson. And one of the reasons I love this briefcase so much is that it pretty much goes with anything I'm going to wear. I mean, short of a more formal business look, this looks great with everything from casual to smart casual to business casual and even some suited looks. Beyond its versatility, one of the other things I really love about this is I can fit pretty much everything I need inside. And today I'm gonna to show you what I carry in my briefcase. All right, so just to get started, when I am traveling, I often have to work as well. So the computer is a very important thing for me to have. Uh, two and a half hours on the train up to New York means that uh, I generally have to work as well. So I can't take that time off as much as I would like to, but uh, always got to have the computer with me. All right, next, if I'm bringing the computer, I've got to have the cords and I've got to have, I like to keep things neat inside of the briefcase. So I like to have a pouch to put them in. This is actually a pouch from Proper Assembly. My friend Nate used to have this company. I think they've changed their name recently and I looked this up to see if it was still available and I did not see it available anymore. But there are any number of pouches that are really good to keep your cords organized. I keep my computer cord in here and as well as an iPhone cord as well, an extra one just in case I happen to lose it. All right, next up, continuing with the computer accessories, we have this. This is my Western Digital My Passport Pro two terabyte external hard drive and I always work off an external hard drive. I find that it, you know, it helps the speed of my computer. And I kind of need to have everything with me at any time because I don't know if someone's going to ask for a specific photo or there's something I want to use in a promotion or a Facebook post or Instagram. I just always like to have everything that we've done at my fingertips and this little guy helps me keep all of that organized. All right, next up is power. Need to have power when I'm walking around the city. I mean, you've been there, you know that your phone will die and you don't want to be sitting in a Starbucks uh, charging up to 20% just to get by. So I always carry uh, an external battery like this. This one's by Anchor or Anker. It holds a lot of power and sometimes I will even take more than one of these if, if I happen to be on a job and I know I'm going to be using my phone a lot, a lot of processing with photo apps and so on, you really need the extra power. So this is something that I recommend and I always have with me. All right, I take a lot of photos with my phone, but I do like to carry around this bad boy. This is my Leica Q. You know, I used to have a different camera. I had a, a Fuji X100S and that didn't have built-in Wi-Fi, and they came out with the T, but I never really had a lot of success with that camera. Whenever I needed it to perform, it didn't really work for me. And I'm not like a huge camera guy, but the Leica is something special. It takes a photo that no other camera can take. And I like to have this at my disposal, um, not only just to take pictures for uh, my own enjoyment, but if, if I am on a job or I really need to take a great photo of something, this gets the job done and then some. All right, next, I always carry sunglasses with me and I always keep a case with me as well because generally I go up to the city for the day and I'll wear the sunglasses during the day. And these of course are my Oliver Peoples Banks sunglasses that I love so much, and they're kind of fragile on the arms. So I don't want to just have them laying in my briefcase when I'm finished. All right, next up is this notebook right here. This is by La Compagnie du Craft. It's actually one that we carry in the shop. It's pretty much the coolest notebook I've ever been able to find. Um, it's also refillable, which is good because you know you, you invest in a nice notebook and then you fill it up and then you can't use it anymore. But this one, uh, I like because you can change out the paper. And as much as I like writing on my phone, I, I, I can't, for some reason, it's easier for me to write, get my ideas out on paper. And I, I love having a notebook because on the train, if I'm not working, I'm thinking about something. <laughs> and a lot of those ideas, if I don't write them down, they're just gone. So having a notebook with me is extremely, extremely important. 
All right, so I have the notebook and obviously I need something to write in it with. So I have this pen and this pen is by Keras Customs. It's a brass pen. It's got a great weight to it. It takes the Pilot G2 cartridge or the Parker cartridge. So whichever one you prefer. I like the Pilot G2 0.7 thickness. That's my style. And it just feels really great on the paper. All right, finally, don't think I'm that guy on the train, but on train rides home, I will often take my shoes off. My feet get tired during the day and I, I wanna give them a rest. My feet don't stink, uh, so, <laughs> but because I wear leather shoes, I like to carry around a shoehorn. This is a small four inch shoehorn by Abbey Horn. And uh, it's great for on the train, on the way home. When I get back to the station, shoes go on easy and I don't ruin them. All right guys, so if you see me on the streets of New York and I happen to be carrying that Filson briefcase, those are the things that I have in it. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to see particular videos in the future, go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. So until next time, thanks for watching.